we absolutely smashed 1,000 subscribers and now we're on the road to 2,500 where I'll be doing yet another giveaway. All you've got to do to enter is like this video and subscribe. We are back with episode 7 of Use or Fuse and this episode's all about Kasos. And if you guys didn't know already, Kasos and Brutus actually have the exact same stats. Both have the same health, both have the same attack, and both have the same defense. Um, just an interesting fact for you guys if you didn't know already. Um, it's all there exactly the same. But first of all, guys, we'll jump into the story. Okay, so moving on to his story. The first two paragraphs are really, really boring. Um, so I'll just sort of explain them. Uh, as briefly as I can. Uh, so essentially, uh, as you all know, Kasos isn't the biggest mauler in the world. Um, and the maulers sort of took the mick out of him for being so small um, and they gave him all the rubbish jobs in the society. Uh, wasn't really respected that much because of his size. Um, he was found to be a slave, did all the dirty work by looking after the livestock and stuff. So we'll jump straight into paragraph three. Um, which talks more about himself. So the day of the storm started like any other. Kasos rose to the sun and watched the animals from a nearby hillside. The clouds approached so rapidly that there was no time to get the beast to shelter before the wind and rain hit them. With flashes of lightning and peals of thunder scattering them in every direction, in the onslaught there was no chance for Kasos to gather the flock. The young mauler was beset with a crushing dread. His master was cruel and would not forgive this. Rather than face a brutal execution, he would die in the way that in the right of any mauler, no matter their station in life, by combat. Kasos knew this was to be his last act, and he felt something welling up in him that he'd never experienced before, defiance. He challenged his master directly, demanding that he face him in a trial of life and death. When he heard the challenge, the master roared laughter to the sky. His warriors and even a few of their servants followed suit, either out of amusement or an eagerness to demonstrate their solidarity with the chief king. Kasos stood firm. If he had to die, it would be dignified. So the master accepted the challenge, loudly boasting that it would be an amusing way to pass a couple of moments. He shouted for a horn of ale, and after downing it, shouted for another. He joked and played games with his warriors, ignoring Kasos as he slammed back drought after drought. By the time the duel begun, he was sopping drunk. He stumbled onto the Jordan ground, dragging his sword along through the dirt and trying to focus on his opponent by closing one, t one eye tightly and staring with the other. He swung, so that an arm's length too far away to make contact before orientating himself and clumsily leaping forward with a blade raised high. So Kasos wasn't an experienced fighter, but he'd always been quick and agile. And guys, we know this. We all know that Kasos is a really, really speedy hero. Um, so before the chieftain, chieftain could regain his balance, there was an axe lodged in his neck. He stood in disbelief for a moment before falling dead. <laughs> the Kasos killed him. <laughs> Watching from afar was Brutus, the leader of the Mauler tribes. This servant had potential, but the right training and someone to show him how to use his, his uh, stature to his advantage, he would become an asset to his people. He would become something for greater than a shepherd. Your destiny isn't truly yours until you seize it. So guys, that explains um, how Brutus and Kasos um, get their union in the library. Um, if we go into the library now, it's the master and the apprentice. Um, so obviously, Brutus was watching Kasos from the crowds um, and saw that he performed really well in the battle and obviously took him on as an apprentice, which is really, really good to know. Um, so that was the story of Kasos. Next, we move on to his skills and discuss, to uh, discuss whether he's a used or fused hero. So as we all know, Kasos is the apprentice of Brutus. Um, and that can sort of explain why they both had the same health and attack because in a way um, Brutus sort of trained Kasos to be a, the fighter he is today. Um, so on to Kasos' skills, the first one is obliteration. So he leaps forward uh, towards the enemy target furthest away from him and smashes the ground causing 220% damage. Um, that's a lot of damage 
um, it's a crazy skill to have um, to be able to double to, to do more than double his damage potential that's that's really really cool uh, the next skill is throwing axe so Kasos throws a war axe towards the enemies that causes 110% damage to all the enemies in its path and then if Kasos catches the axe on its return his speed is, is increased temporarily um, so you know it's if he does manage to catch the axe on its return, he then also gets a buff on his speed as well. Um, so that would be great to deal even more damage. Uh, the next skill is Concentration. Uh, it's quite a long one, so I'll just narrow it down. Uh, so basically, if the enemies are close to him, his defense is increased by 12%. And if the enemies are far away from him, his attack rating is increased by 8%. So essentially, little buffs, just depending on the situation he's in currently, the enemies are close, he gets a buff in defense. If they're far away, he gets a buff in attack. And his last skill is Rabid Thirst. Now this one is great if you do a Mauler and Grave One combo um, because Shamira and Vadan both have Life Leech and this skill here allows him to increase the Life Leech attributes by 10 points of all of his allies. So that's a really, really cool skill to have if you do use um, a Mauler and Graveborn combination. So, do I think Kaesos is a use or fuse hero? Uh, in my opinion, definitely a use hero, just for the fact that uh, when it comes to when you're doing uh, your Riz and Sauron guild battles, he can deal some really, really hefty damage, and the fact he can increase life leech as well is amazing for Shamira and Badan and can help them stay alive even longer. Uh, Shamira has no problem staying alive, but sometimes for Dan, it's just a little bit too much damage for him to receive. So if he's getting his, his uh, boost in life leech, it's going to help him stay alive. So to conclude this episode, guys, Kasos, a great hero. You should try and use him in the guild boss if you can, uh, because he can deal some really, really hefty damage. He is definitely a used hero. I wouldn't recommend to fuse him at all. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.